Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dear brothers and sisters Alhamdulillah Whoever have become a Muslim Is Allah's blessing, is Allah's ni'mah Now it's important for everyone To understand what is a Muslim A Muslim means a person Who has submit to Allah Rabbil Alamin Who totally have submitted themselves to God What do you understand by submit yourself to God? Means you believe in Him and believe in His commandment. And your commitment must be very sincere. Because a Muslim is not a part-time Muslim, weekend Muslim, is a lifetime Muslim. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran remind us, Ya ayuhallazina amanu, Udukhulu fi silmi kafah Wala tatabiyu khutwati shaitan Innahu lakum adu mubin Or you who want to believe If you enter Islam Or all those who believe Enter Islam Fully Totally Commit yourself Because whatever Islam want us to do God want us to do is for our own good And whatever Allah forbid us Is also for our own good So now let us look into how to be a practicing Muslim, not just yeah, a talking Muslim, no, practicing Muslim. Whether you are new to Islam, especially the new revert, please make sure that your intention from the beginning is clear. That you come to Islam because you believe in Islam, you believe in Allah, and you want to be a practicing Muslim. Now, when your intention is clear, then you will see the flow will be very smooth. You have no problem, inshallah. The test is there for everybody. But inshallah, you will be able to overcome all the tests without any problem. Why? Because Allah's blessing is there. Allah's help is there. Be consistent, meaning whatever you have to do as a Muslim, you don't do it based on your mood, follow your mood and fancy. You just try your best to do whatever Allah wants you to do. Example, if Allah said you must worship Allah five times a day, just example. So you must be consistent in your prayer five times a day. Not weekly Muslim, yearly Muslim, is a daily Muslim. That can help you to be a good practicing Muslim. Just follow what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should do and the prophets who have taught us what to do, you just follow. Then you become the best. They are acting upon what they say. They act upon what they believe because word is word. But if word do not follow out with action, have no meaning. It's like a tree without a fruit. It says a tree gives you some shape. But it will not be beneficial to you. So Islam is a religion of action, not just name, not just logo, label, but it's a religion of action. amanu wa But I know, brother and sister, especially for reverts, Islam is totally a new thing to you, to me. The environment plays a very important role. If we are new to Islam, We are weak, we must get into a good jama'ah, a good environment. Because the good jama'ah, the good environment is sure to help you to become a good Muslim. Our Prophet ﷺ have made it very clear. Al-mar'u ala dini qalili fal yanzul ahadukum may qalil. Our lifestyle, our belief also have something to do with the environment and our friend, the people that is around us. You must be selective. Get close to people who are close to Allah, you will be closer to Allah. Get close to people who love all the good things, you become a good person. How to do that, brothers and sisters? Number one, you must have knowledge. And before that, of course, your intention. Every action or whatever we say based on our intention. So if your intention, brothers and sisters, is purely to be close to Allah, sincere, to be a good Muslim, you are going to be a good Muslim. And when you become a practicing Muslim brother, inshallah, you don't have to worry. You are sure 
to live and grow and get old and die as a Muslim. And that's why in the Quran, always Allah reminds us, Wala tamutunna illa wa anta Muslim. Make sure that none of us will die until we become a good Muslim. If you are not good before, now you have to say to yourself, I want to be good. I believe all of us who are following this program, none of us want to be a bad guy. But it is not enough by saying, I don't want to be bad, I don't want to be bad, but you are always in a bad company. No. You will say, I do not want to be a bad guy, so you must get away from the bad environment and save yourself. And when you are strong, you can go back to that environment and try to save others. That is good. Because a Muslim is a person who brings benefit to other people. A good Muslim is a person who is very careful with his word and his hand. He is not going to cause unrest to anybody. He is not going to be judgmental. He is not going to hurt anybody with his tongue or his hand. So he is a peacemaker. So if you are that kind of person, brother and sister, wherever you go, people will love you. Because people love good people. But don't forget, number one, be sure about your intention. Number two, make sure that you are in a good environment. And number three, there's nothing better for us to follow except the commandment of Allah, His book, the Quran, and the teaching of His beloved Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, who is the best example for humanity. By doing that, Insha'Allah, all of us will end up to be winners. You know, our Prophet said, Wama inna ma ma al You see, the important to be a good Muslim and to maintain ourselves a good Muslim is to show good character. Now, your family who are not yet Muslim, for those who are revered, please remember, anything that you do good, don't hide behind them. Your parent is your parent. They deserve yeah, some honesty from you. Anything that is good, share with them. You cannot force them to accept what is good sometimes because they have a different value. But when you want to be a Muslim, I will encourage all the good brothers and sisters, don't hide from your parents. Talk to them. Let them know about your good intention. They may disagree because they don't understand, but it's our duty to explain to them. When you enter Islam with an open heart, with an open mind, with an open concept, there's nothing for you to worry, nothing for you to hide. And I believe through my humble example, when you want to be a Muslim and you keep it a secret, it's become difficult for you and you are not being honest to your parents. And one day if your parents come to know, they'll be very upset. How can you, you know, do something that's so important in your life and you don't even let your parents know about it? That means you are lying behind them. May Allah help us. May Allah guide us. May Allah give us victory here and the hereafter. Amin. Ya Rabbil Alamin. Wa bilai tawfiqi wal aqri da'wana. Walhamdulillah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.